Hello friends, today in this presentation we are going to discuss about the reconciliation statement. In this presentation we will cover meaning of the reconciliation, then objective of reconciliation, reason for the reconciliation we will discuss, need for the reconciliation, methods and format of the reconciliation. Introduction of reconciliation. Company may maintain cost accounting in addition to the financial accounting. The profit or loss shows by these two accounting system will not be same because these two sets of books may follow the different accounting principle and policies. Hence, the need for the reconciliation of cost and financial accounting is arises. If we discuss about the meaning of the reconciliation, reconciliation may be expressed as a process of telling the profit and loss as shows by the cost with the financial accounting. Here in this picture, we can uh, see the profit of cost accounting is 47,520 rupees. Whereas financial accounting is concerned, the profit of this book is 64,000. There is a difference between cost accounting book and financial accounting book. Reason for the differences, what are the various reasons of the differences in the uh, balances of the profit. Number one, there are certain items which shows only in the financial accounting, not in cost accounting. Some expenses are purely related to the financial book which shows in only in financial book not in cost account book. Second one is there are certain items which are shown in only cost accounting not in financial book. Some expenditures are uh, which is purely related to the cost accounting and some which is not uh, included in financial book. Number three, different method of the valuation of stock. There are different methods uh, they adopted in financial accounting as well as in cost accounting. In financial accounting, there are two uh, values, market price and cost price. Whichever is less on the basis of that, the stock will be valued. And the uh, cost book is concerned in this FIFO method is there, LIFO method is there, weightage average method is there for the valuation of stock. Different method of charging depreciation. Both the book have uh, may apply different method of depreciation. Uh, there may be changes in the percentage of depreciation and as well as method of the depreciation. Financial book they may adopt fixed installment method, reducing balance method, whereas uh, uh, cost book is concerned, there may be differ, uh, depreciation may be charged. There, uh, there are over and under absorption of the cost accounting. These are the some basic reason why, uh, that's why this uh, difference arises between both these books objective of the reconciliation accuracy of the both book accuracy of the book both, both book means where it ensure that accuracy of the both book financial book as well as cost book to know about the causes of the difference what are the causes of the differences it with the help of the reconciliation we uh, can understand Coordination, coordination between the cost book with uh, financial book. A standardization in accounting policy. With the help of the reconciliation statement, we maintain the standard for the policy. Completeness and reliability of costing records. These are the objective to prepare the reconciliation. Now we try to understand uh, relationship between the profit and loss. In profit, income has positive relationship with the profit. Suppose income is increasing, 
profit will increase. Suppose income is decreasing, profit will decrease. It has positive relationship with profit. Expenses, it has negative relationship with the profit. If expenses are increasing, profit will decrease. If expenses are reducing, profit will increase. If we talk about the cost losses, income has negative relationship with loss. If income, income is increasing, loss will decrease. Expenses has positive relationship with the loss. If expenses are increasing, uh, loss will also increase. This is the relationship between income and expenditure with profit and loss. Now we see the effect over the under and over absorption of the profit. Here we can see that over absorption of overheads in cost account. Due to this over absorption in the expenses, the profit of cost book will be less. Due to under absorption of the overheads in cost book, profit will more. For example, if we see about the over absorption of the expenses in cost book, why it is uh, uh, decrease the profit? Because we are charging over uh, expenditures, so profit will reduce. The same in we see about the financial accounting here will be just opposite of the cost book. The profit will more if over absorption of the expenditure in cost book. If we see under absorption of the overheads in cost accounting, we see in cost book effect of this uh, under absorption of cost account. Profit will increase, it shows the profit more. And whereas financial account is concerned, it will be just opposite. Suppose here is profit more, the profit will be less due to under absorption in overheads in cost accounting. So we can say that the if over absorption of overhead in cost accounting is there, profit will be less of the cost book. Whereas financial account is concerned, the profit will be more. Under absorption of the overheads in cost account, due to this profit will be more in cost book. Whereas financial book is concerned, it will, will be less profit as compared to cost book. There are two methods. First is reconciliation statement. Another is memorandum reconciliation statement. Now we understood how to prepare reconciliation statement. Always uh, there will be a two profit, profit as per cost book and profit as per financial book. Always try to take profit as a cost sheet first. It will be helpful uh, for the solving the question. First point is expenses overcharge in cost accounting. If expenses are overcharged in cost accounting, we will add this in here. Second one is over valuation of opening stock in cost accounting, it will also add in this profit. These are the some items which will be add. Why it is adding? The reason behind it, expenses overcharge in cost books. Suppose we see the impact. This is the cost book. This is the financial book. If we charging over expenses in cost book, over expenses we are charging, the profit will reduce here. Whatever in profit is impact is here, just opposite will be here. The profit will be more here. Whatever is happening here, if whether profit is increasing or decreasing. Suppose increasing, we will increase, we will add this item. If profit is decreasing, we will decrease the 
profit here. So, this is the basic reason uh, why it is adding overvaluation of opening stock in cost accounting. If we are uh, overvaluating the opening stock, it will definitely decrease the profit of cost book. Just support it will be here. So, we will add since here the profit is increasing, we will add this over valuation of opening stock income or profit in financial accounting but not in cost accounting suppose income is mentioned in financial book financial book profit will increase there is as compared to profit will be less so profit is increasing due to this reason we will add income if in financial accounting but not in cost accounting if income is showing in financial book we will add this item under valuation of closing stock in cost accounting if we undervaluate the cost accounting definitely it will decrease the profit of cost book just opposite will be here here will be profit increase that's why we will add this item here Expenses charged in cost accounting but not in financial accounting. The expenses which are charging in cost accounting, we are charging here expenses, so profit will decrease. But profit of financial book will be increased. So whatever is going on here, we will add here. Suppose it is adding here, it is increasing the profit, therefore we will add this item. Now come to the less item why we last this items expenses under charge in cost accounting suppose expenses we are under charging it means profit will increase profit is increasing here just suppose it will be as a profit of financial book is decreasing therefore we will last this item under valuation of opening stock opening stock we can see uh, this is the as expenditure if we treat as a expenditure in financial book we see expenses always decrease the profit so profit is decreasing here and profit of cost accounting will be increased so since the profit of financial book is decreasing therefore we will decrease under valuation of opening stock in cost book expenses or losses in financial book but not in cost book since expenses always decrease the profit of financial book here is no impact of these expenditures because we are not mentioning here therefore the profit will be decrease in financial book therefore we will less this item from it over valuation of open closing stock in cost accounting if we are over valuation here in cost book in that case the profit will be more here due to uh, over valuation of closing stock and profit of this will be less as compared to since here is profit more the just opposite will be here so it will be less here income recorded in cost but not in financial book the income which is recorded in cost accounting so profit will be increase here cost book but since here it is not recording means profit is less therefore uh, income recorded in cost accounting but not in financial accounting therefore we will less this item here so some of these add items this is the profit as per cost book all these item will be add here some of these items less all these items some of these items will be less whatever we are getting as a balance it will be a profit as per financial book if we start profit as per cost sheet answer will be profit as per financial account this is the format how to solve this reconciliation statement now we discuss about the memorandum account. What is memorandum accounting? Memorandum accounting is the 
T format of reconciliation statement. Whatever the impact on uh, cost uh, book, if that is increasing or adding the profit, we all the items will write in the credit side of this account. Whatever the profit due to these reason is decreasing, these all item will be mentioned in the debit side. Memorandum account has two sides, debit side and credit side. All the income will be mentioned here, all the expenses will be mentioned here. Profit as per cost sheet, we will write here. These all item, all items are increasing the profit. That's why the all the added item will be shown in the credit side. All the expenditures side and losses, ex losses of the uh, <coughs> will be shows in debit side. And difference, total of sum of credit side, sum of debit side. Balancing figure, if balancing is here, we will get the profit as per financial account. What are the steps to prepare the reconciliation step? First of all, we have to identify that transaction is expenses or income. Suppose that is expenses, it will decrease the profit. If it is income, it will increase the profit. We have to see the impact of transaction on profit and loss. First, we have to uh, identify that this is the expenditure or income. If this is the if this is the profit, profit will increase due to the income. If expenses is there, profit will be decreased. So we have to find out that these are the uh, expenses or income. Number three, plus or minus will be depend on the impact of base book. If you are taking balance as per cost book, the base book will be financial book. So we have to start from cost book and reach up to the financial book. Impact of cost costing on profit and loss always be opposite. If the profit is increasing here, the profit will less here. So we can say that the impact on of profit and loss will be just opposite if you are taking balance as a cost book. Whatever is happening here, just opposite impact on profit and loss will be here. Thank you. That's all about the reconciliation statement.